heard of mostly. Uh, but it feels like we're kind of segue football. And I, I, I want to touch on two football things. Um, Miami Dolphins' Ryan Tannehill could be out for the year. And the first name that came up, it's not Colin Kaepernick. It's Jay Cutler. Now, as you well know, Jay Cutler now works at Fox. Uh, there's a reason when we put Jay Cutler in a three-man booth, not a two-man booth, uh, we knew this was a possibility. I have not talked to my bosses about this this morning. I don't know how comfortable or uncomfortable they are for me to talk about it. But if I was Miami, I would go after Jay Cutler, too. Uh, first of all, he and Adam Gase have had a good relationship together. His interceptions dropped when he worked with Gase in Chicago. He had his best statistical year ever. Jay Cutler did in 2015. Um, and it, it, let me just throw this out there. Not every city's the same, right? And we've said this before in sports. Um, that, you know, like uh, USC is based in Los Angeles. So USC schedules out-of-conference games against Texas and Notre Dame because if they schedule several Wyomings, generally nobody will show up. It's Los Angeles. There's things to do. Where if you're in Auburn or Tuscaloosa or, you know, a rural small college town, you can put up three or four dogs. It doesn't matter. People are going to show up. It's the same thing with pro sports. I've always said... It is tougher to run a team in a city with a beach. That sounds weird, right? Miami, San Diego, Los Angeles, because beaches are a distraction. Beaches are fun. Restaurants are on beaches. Attractive people move to beaches. People wear fewer clothes at the beach. Beach towns have people who work out more, and you have a bunch of young athletes. There is also something about a port town. Mike Lombardi was a guest on this show one time, former NFL GM, and he said, we always felt that port cities, New Orleans, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Miami, New York City, it's sometimes younger because port cities have more restaurants, more fun, more actions, livelier cities. So Miami is both. It's a beach town and it's a port town. And because of that, People have a lot of options. It's more of an event town than it is a sports city. And if you don't get Jay Cutler or a Tony Romo or somebody of that class, people, they just don't go to games. They just don't go to games. So Jay Cutler is seen as a starter. He is viewed, Kaepernick's not. Kaepernick's a small school guy, second round guy, starts his career as a backup. Some people still view him that way. Forget about the, the other stuff. Jay Cutler is viewed as as a starter and if Miami doesn't call Romo uh, or doesn't call Cutler now 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 I'll be honest if given the option I'd take Romo because uh, I always said I felt Tony Romo was one of the most underrated players in the history of the NFL I think Jay Cutler's got a great arm I think Tony Romo is maybe the most underrated quarterback of my life I mean, you say Tony Romo and people think failure, he can't do this. So we, we talk about Kaepernick all the time. Kaepernick's a marginal player at his best. Cutler had a year with Adam Gase that was big time, and Tony Romo had a career that I think was really big time. I think 99% of football players who play quarterback would be damn proud to have a career like Tony Romo. So fourth best QB rating all time. It goes Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Tom Brady, Tony Romo. <laughs> I mean, that's just not one of those goofy algorithm stats like best player ever is Craig Reynolds, former Mariner shortstop. It's one of those things where you start lining guys up. You're like, oh, those are good players. So, you know, it's funny. Romo and Cutler go into the booth and we all talked about, well, what if they get a call? You know, I wouldn't be shocked if Tony Romo and Jay Cutler didn't get a call last night. Here you go. 69 quarterbacks took a snap last year. And uh, and uh, we've already got, listen, Big Ben got hurt yesterday. Tannehill's probably out for the season. Joe Flacco is going to miss some time. Only two teams have played a practice game. We've already got them dropping like flies. So if you're a Cutler guy, a Romo guy, or a Kaepernick guy, I think they're all going to get opportunities, and they're all going to get a bunch of calls. Here was Jay Cutler with us back in May. Now, I asked him about a possible comeback, and here was Jay Cutler's response. I'm not going back. I mean, it's done and over with. And, you know, that portion of your life that you spent so much time um, investing in and, and being a part of is now done and over. And, you know, I, it's, I don't think it's set in yet. I mean, once August hits and, you know, we, we uh, training camp and, you know, I'm at home, and I think that's when it's definitely going to, you know, come to life a little bit more in my mind. There you go. Uh, I want to shift Joe uh, gears. To Jerry Jones. Uh, he will be elected into the Hall of Fame this weekend. 
He is quite the showman. Uh, his story is well chronicled. An oil man 